KT here. You can see I've got the uh, 71 El Camino in the garage today. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do a quick how-to on installing a driver passenger side door in an El Camino. I've done, I did the, uh, did the, the, the 69, and this is gonna apply to any Elkis from 60, I know from 68 up to 72. Um, they're all this deal, all the, all that, all that, that Jeez, they all have the same doors. Um, and there's a couple of things that we have to do to get that done. So uh, I'm gonna flip this on. As you can see, the door panel is uh, not in the best of conditions or shape. Um, it's dirty. This thing's been left out in the um, right. been left out in the rain. This window's busted out and um, been sitting like that for a while. So. It's all pretty nasty. The cardboard's gone, but I'm going to go ahead and pretend like this is still in good shape. We're going to reuse it. I am going to reuse it just temporarily, but um, we'll pretend like this is in good, like it's in good shape. We'll take care of pulling the handles off and everything else, and then getting this vent glass out up here. I can already tell them I have to zoom out a little bit, or at least go up. Hang on a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do is as I go along here, I'm going to tell you, ouch, I'm going to tell you what, uh, which tools that I'm using. First and foremost is one of these uh, cheapo um, uh, door handle or window handle, window crank removers. Um, and and the, the work for the Chevy door handles. I got this at a, at a swap meet. I paid like a buck for it, I think. Um, some of the best money I ever spent. Now, on the, uh, let me move you over here. Hang on. Now, on these handles, um, if uh, they're going to be, the, the, the hook rings are going to be placed in one of two positions. You're either going to line, whoa! Drunk already, are you? <laughs> okay, you're either going to be lined up with the lever on the handle, right, in this direction here, lined up like that, or it's going to be 180 degrees out this way. Um, if you've already, you already know this, just bear with me, I'm doing this in case, um, Somebody hasn't seen this before. And also on the back side, there is a there's a little washer, little uh, like a uh, plastic piece here. Doot, 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 doot. I can zoom in and get it or not. Yeah, right here. There's a little plastic washer in the back. You have to get the tool in between the um, you have to get the tool in between the washer and the lever. Okay. Uh, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So first I'm going to try lined up across from and it's just a matter of moving it back and forth until and it, there we go. Okay, so once it slides on you can wiggle it around a little bit. That didn't work so let me try it from the back side here. There it is. All right, and close up, you can see how how the tool, when it slides on, it pushes that clip back, and it can, you can release it. Now, sometimes when I first did this, if you, this one's this is actually missing a spring. There's supposed to be a spring in there. Um, whoops. There's supposed to be a spring. Uh, but the first time I did this, um, I, sh I pushed it in, and I kept wiggling, and it wouldn't come off. Sometimes you just have to leave the tool in place and give it a little bit of tug and it'll pop right off. But again, that's how the uh, that's how it works right there. When it slides on, it shoves that. There's like a sweet spot for the focus on this thing. I'll find it one of these days. But um, and then when you're done, poke it back onto the handle so you don't lose it. Because sure as shit, I mean I'm real good at losing stuff. So I'll slide this back on. There. All right, so there's one. And that's, that's good for the uh, vent handle. 
put that little guy on there so I don't lose that. And let's get the window handle here. Again, no spring, this spring is missing also. So I'm gonna go 180 degrees this way. Move it around and see if I can find that slot. Come on, there we go. Okay, not going on there, so let me go line up with the handle. There it is, clip, ta-da, that simple. And again, push my clip back on here so I don't lose it. There's the door handles. All right, though, so I'm sorry, the window cranks. Take my washer off there. Yeah, there's supposed to be a spring. Those springs are gone. Uh, next, we're gonna get the handle, um, uh, the door handle and the armrest out of the way, and uh, then we'll work on the vent glass. That's gonna be fun. Oh, well, we'll get the door panel out of the way and then the vent glass. Okay, stand by. I'm a firm believer in there is the right tool for every job. And uh, this, these door handles, this door is it's held on with a couple of screws. Um, one here and one here, uh, none on the bottom. Oh, yeah, actually one down here on the bottom here. So there's three, I believe. Uh, already concerned because I see silicone. <laughs> I see clear silicone on that screw. And then when uh, when I try to seat the seat the bit in this screw up here in the front, it's giving me it's acting weird. So yeah, acting real weird. But just make sure you use the right tool for the job. Because if you get a screw that's too small or use a bit that's too small, you're going to strip your script. That is not the original factory screw for um, for a door. So now I'm even more concerned. <laughs> uh, I don't have any extras either. So, all right, there's one screw out that didn't even take anything to get out. Very strange. They, for some reason, drilled a second hole and they put this put this thing up in an angle. Again, not the right screw. Uh, this is a self-tapping coarse thread Phillips. Uh, that is not what goes in there. So, gonna be interesting to see what kind of shape the doors. And they've even got, <laughs> they've even got, they've even got a uh, some type of plastic wall anchor in this one over here, which is uh, I don't know what they're trying to accomplish there. But I guess I'll find out once I get this door panel off. Okay. Uh, armrest is out of the way. Stupid screws are gone. And next is the door handle. Now this is pretty cool here. This is really easy. You can see that on how this tool works with the uh, with the door handle itself. Right here, steps in the slot. There's the clip. Boom. So you can get a good visual right here of uh, what it takes to get that off. While I'm sitting here yammering, i um, got a question for you guys. If anybody knows, put the answer in the comments below. Um, on these windows, I know they're all tinted. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but on these windows, I know they're all tinted a certain way. If you've got, whether you had AC, whether the car came with AC, uh, whether it came with AC or whether it didn't. Depends on, the. I think, the tint of the glass, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Neither one of the El Caminos that I've got came with uh, air, with AC, and I don't think the one that uh, I got the donor windows from came with AC either. Now my Monte Carlo did; it's a '71, and uh, it came with AC. And I went and looked at the went and looked at the uh, emblem on it. And it says the same thing: it's soft ray, safety, flow light glass. Um, you know the dot uh, dot 15 M74. I don't know what that stuff is, but I'm just curious if anybody knows. Uh, I think factory AC cars. For Chevy's uh, GM products had some windows that were tinted because you can buy when you buy replacement you can buy either tinted or you can buy clear and I'm just curious about that so um, on to the next task which is uh, getting the bottom screws out and then we're gonna go ahead and take this lock top off here lock lever lock rod whatever this is get that out of the way uh, and uh, Get the screws off, door panel out, and be right back. Oh, that was quick. There was only one screw down here. <laughs> the 
the rest of them are all rotted and, and not even holding. Uh, okay, we have some clips back here. I know there's some special little clip tools that you can stick in to get to these here, but I usually just use my fingers to pop them out. A door this old, the cardboard's going to be rotten anyway, so I don't think there's going to be any save in the clips if they're if they're not going to come out. You're going to tear the cardboard anyway. All right, and then up and off the door panel. Yep. Of course, we all knew that was going to happen, didn't we? Okay, here we are. Um, wow. There's that other hole they drilled there. Uh, here's the anchor that those are stripped out basically. They stripped them out. So what I'll do before I put everything back together is uh, before I put the door panel back on, I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, MIG and we'll weld up these holes, retap some new ones, and then use the right screws if I can find some. Uh, I might just use those self tappers and go back in here again, and just do what they did for now. But uh, next step is to get the vent glass out. So stand by, I'll get the tools ready for that, and I'll show you what it's going to take to get this removed and get it out of the way.